So welcome to Minecraft Modded Edition for me <laughs> that I made myself. So I did some testing. This is my testing world. I'm going to leave this alone, but I need to... I did settings. I wanted to be... This playthrough specifically, I wanted to be a little more like comfortable playing. I don't want to be like worrying too much. There's certain that, different things that I've done um, just to make the experience more enjoyable. Phantoms aren't going to spawn. Not really interested in that. Um... I'm not in I keeping inventories that'll be on so I don't want to deal with like oh I just went all this way over here and now I don't know how to get there that's always a horrible setback and just the fact that I have to walk go back there is as much of a punishment than it is to ha worry about getting those items and I don't want to worry about that I want to have a casual fun playthrough explore around stuff like that and uh, play through the mods that I added in so I've added as you see here 273 mods i mean some of these are api based so it's probably like around like 260 maybe around there but still that's a lot a lot of it is a lot is uh basically quality of life stuff um nothing is gonna feel too crazy so that out of the way though let's uh create a new world oh wait i didn't mean to do that i didn't want to do this there we go so World name, I think I'm going to go with something a little simple. Uh, let's see. Blizzard. Blizzard. Yeah, Reds. Brand new modded adventure. Oh, can't pull that. I'll say uh, modded adventure. Exclamation point, copy that. And then world C generator, pop that in there. And we should be good. Also, let me just uh, show you my settings here, uh, game rules. So, let's see, the ones I changed here, let's see. I don't want to deal with freezing damage. I never really liked that. The fact that it slows you down was enough of a deterrent for me. Um, I just really don't like that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see what else. I have raids disabled. I, raids I never really enjoyed in playing. Um, do, do, do destructive mob actions are on. I don't. I'm I'm fine with that. Um, phantoms are off. Pillager patrols are off. I don't like uh, these two because they're more so nuance. Uh, not nuance. Uh, nuisances. Um, I want blocks to always drop what they have. So I basically want to make sure, like, if they're going to explode something, I'm going to be able to get the items back. I don't want to deal with, like, you know, actual, like, pain and annoyance that of, like, oh, now I have to go find whatever. Especially if it's something, like, important, like, that's hard to make. Especially when with the mod and stuff. I turned this stuff off just the fact that I had, uh, I probably should turn some of this other stuff off. Uh, is there mod messages, maybe? I don't know. I know like one of the mod messages pop up at the start, but that's fine. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I modified the, the game rules. Um, I have a few data packs, you know, stuff like that. Um, so be default. I did a, a few world generation stuff, like I said before. Um, a few generation like you know object stuff. But without further ado, we're just gonna be normal difficulty survival. Commands are gonna be on just in case, you know. But let's create a new world. So let's see. This should be good. There's a lot of fun stuff that uh, we're going to be finding out right here. So it should be a fun time. But yeah, here we go. Loading train. And. Hopefully it shouldn't be lagging too much on my end. So. Let's let it load in for a bit. There we go. So we got a bonus chest here. Let's start off. We got a whoopee cushion. <laughs> Alright. And then get some sticks. Pickaxe. And let me know if uh, certain things are a little too loud. I'm probably going to lower the volume on the uh, some of this stuff here. Let me grab this. So a lot of quality of life stuff. 
Um, I got a, a mini map, of course. Um, we should see something like, like you said, I uh, saw over here the scarecrow. See the face? Yeah, there he is. Few things generating around. It's a little nicer. Like there's a nicer stuff here, like moss. I don't, I don't think that's in vanilla, but the well, moss uh, block there. Got a nice shader on. I customized the shader a good bit to make it look really good. There's floating islands. Um, a, a boat over there. A lot of cool stuff. Yeah, I'm probably going to lower the ambience sounds a little, since they are still a little loud. So let's lower this down to... Say 15, how does that sound? So I think that's a separate thing. About 5. Yeah, I think that's a little better. See, my, uh, the audio balance is always something that's going to be an issue to figure out here. So, I mean, I can also say if there's a, uh, a camp here. Interesting. I'll see the, uh, the black hole here. So, it also, like in the bottom right there you saw, it will show the... Um, will show the items you pick up. So that's to be used. So just generally, like, while I'm exploring around, seeing, oh, I picked up everything that I, I threw down, stuff like that. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. So. Also, if, it, if there's anything you feel like there's a little too much, uh, I could turn off. So. For example, like, I like the mini-map up there, but if you guys ever feel like, oh man, maybe uh, it'd be better just to have the, uh, the mobs and, uh, like, images off just to make it a little more interesting, that's fine. I personally liked it on um, this is the fact that, like, generally, when you see a mob, you could probably hear it by then. Maybe, like, I could lower the, di uh, the distance. That could be beneficial. So here's, uh, some berries. Have to be an open hand, I guess so. Alright, that was weird. Ow, ow. I see what I did. I was hitting the, uh, specific, uh, walk next to it. What's this over here? Looks like a uh, crying obsidian, looks like. Oh, well, crap. So this was another thing I had. I, there was another mod that adds all the, um, the lost mob mobs. Just because, you know, it's, it's just cool to have, to have them all. Alright. It's, uh, what's that? Oh, it's a fox. Nice. Alright. I did try to add other things. I think I didn't add, um... The specific thing for it. Let's kill the crab on his claw. All right, there we go. And I think you your crafting recipe for this crab, a crayon. Yeah, I don't know. Um, all right. Since we're near a beach, that's where those crabs are spawning here. Yeah. Ooh, a little light spike there. But yeah, let's see. I want to build... So here's some goals I have in mind. So I want to find a few structures. I want There's one th structure specifically I want to sort of uh, create ownership of and like take over. But the spirit, they like they spawn rarely, and it's something that it's sort of like a, a big, huge thing to do, and it's a little challenging to uh, take over. So, 
me grab some pumpkins, since I will need them in the future. Also, because I like the roses, I'll take the roses. Alright. I'll grab- I'll chop down some wood soon. And the time is almost at the top, so... There's a little bit north here. Was this northeast? I mean, sorry, not north. The head where that uh, bee is over there. I think that might be a good spot. I want to get a nice, like, vantage point area. Because that's always been my favorite sort of uh, location to build in. It's a nice, like, comfy overlook so we can then build a nice little contraption. Alright. I mean, this is a high point over here. So, what is that? Tunnel down there. Well, not a tunnel, but you know, a cave. Looks cool. What's this? Um, some sort of. Oh, it's a. Uh, looks like a fossil sort of thing. Interesting. I think I need a. Uh, yeah, that looks like suspicious dirt. So I need a uh, this sort of like sweeper thingy. Go this way. So it looks like there is a building of some sort in the distance over here. Oh, there's villages over there. Nice. Let's head over to this. Ooh, what is this? Some sort of building. Also, I forgot. Should open the friends. Right. Two, five, five, six, five. Uh, turn them from where else. There we go. All right, now they can join. Wow, that looks cool. Now oh, this is a good view. Whoever built this had the right idea. Well, that's not good. <laughs> now, I in my testing, I did not see that. All right, that's funny. I don't know what caused that. Why is the crafting bench broken? <laughs> uh, okay. Is that a resource pack thing? I mean, let me disable that for now. It might have been. It might be redstone tweaks, maybe. Let me see. Because that is odd. Let's see. Yeah, it was that. Okay. That, that Why is that impact? It was an EXP bar thing. Why is that impacting the crafting table? Well, whatever. They fixed it, so. Ow. Let me head over to this village. Looks like, it'd be a, looks like a large one. And look at that. That looks beautiful. Is that the village, or is that another building? Or is that a little camping spot? Also, this is running on the newest um, Minecraft version. So it's not ha I don't have, like, every single, like, you know, popular mod or anything. Like, that's not what I really was aiming for. As I said, it was, like, more of a casual, fun experience. All right, yeah. Also, another thing is I have, uh, it shows how much the items will heal you if you eat them. And over here, like you saw over here, this is just giving you, like, tick rates and all that. Okay, okay, jeez, jeez. 
Give me some time. Get out of here. Um, nice little well here. Campfire. Yeah, this is a nice little village. A little bumpy and all that, but it looks good. This looks like it be like a, a newer building. So I did have uh, one mod that adds more buildings to villages just to uh, spice them up. At least I think that is. That might actually be like an existing. Ooh, saddle. That's nice. Helmet. Some gold. It's always good to have. Also, this is my uh, custom skin I made. Made that like a little, a few, like I think it was like last month I made it because I was playing on a friend's uh, server. Got some more cobble here. Not cobble, wood I mean, sorry. Some trees, pumpkin seeds. Um. Nope. Let's get into a building. Alright, here we go. Um, I got enough stuff to craft now. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? Berry jam jar. Ah, oh, interesting. Yeah, so we have a lot, a whole bunch of things. Black sheet. What are you shooting at? Oh. Tip. Alright, um, what well, was doing? Right. Oh, actually, it can be placed on furniture. Oh, right, so we furniture mods, so. Yeah, I got some furniture mod stuff. Apply a selected profile. What does this mean? Okay. Alright, so let's get crafting here. So. Here. that here place that all right now we can make a whole bunch of stuff also i got the uh, vertical slabs so i can place them down i got a whole bunch of like custom crafting stuff like we have like a fancy bed there's a whole bunch of cool stuff like trophies I have a whole bunch of really nice customizable. I'm gonna be making a whole bunch of like fun like building stuff. Um, I'm probably gonna build like a sort of town thing. I want. I really want to like build up. Probably want to find up like a plane of some sort, like a you know a, a building plane, not building plane, but you know a plains biome. That's what I mean. So it should be a fun time here. I just want a, a chill, relaxing Minecraft time. Building. Nothing too crazy. Let me find a bed. So I need to sleep it off so I can. What's the point up there? Um. But yeah, you can probably hear audio wise that a lot of things are like moder uh, customized. Come on. Get out of the bed. There we go. Like custom audio for walking, custom like ambient noises. Um, among so much else. Like the shader I have is very like uh simp not simple, but it, it's very light. I don't want anything like crazy. Like I said, like I it's supposed to be like a fun little adventure. And nothing like Oh man, this is like there's so much crazy stuff. No, no, no. That's something something I really enjoy when I mod stuff. I like going a little lighter on the on the craziness because too much is like it overloads you. At least for me, like I I find a lot of modded stuff just does not fit the feel of Minecraft. What the heck is that noise? All right, nothing in there. <laughs> is this like a a milking building or something? Or did he just spawn in there? 
Oh, uh, what else? Anything else over here? Ow. Good thing. Uh, what should I eat? Uh, I have some bread. Yeah, it's fully, fully healed me. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I guess that's it for this village. Nothing too crazy in it. Um, there seems to be something of interest over here that looks like visually. Do I have any bones? I have one bone. So I can't get a dog yet. Unless I'm lucky here. Let's see. Here, doggy. Oh, cool. That was easy. One bone, I got a dog. Oh my god. Stop it. Alright. Let's uh, move over here. I want to see what that like rough surface looks like. Or what is it, at least. Whoa. Creepy. Egg. Really cool biome, though. Whoa. Now this is sick. It's a lush uh, cave down there. That is really far down. That's crazy. I might build a, a build around here. Seems like I'll find a spot. Maybe up there. So then I could uh, pop on down. Alright, let's head on up. Ow! Oh, we got a slag tight, uh, like cave thing. Lava. What's that wind noise? That was a weird noise I heard. Yeah, this is a really good. Yeah, like both these. Oh my god, these two biomes right next to each other. Could, like get like a uh, magnifying glass zoom in on this stuff Let's head up here yeah I really want to get a plane biome that's the main thing I'm gonna try to find around here Oh my god, I try to avoid one by going to the other. Let's see, what do we have over here? A lot of birch. So man. Ooh. That's interesting. Careful, jeez. What the hell? Where'd that come from?
Oh, nice. A, a lot of bones, got a lot of sticks. Uh, let's grab this chest. Um, I wonder how you would pick those up. Maybe bring the block below them? Oh, no. Uh, I mean, interesting items. And these blocks are interesting as well, what are they? No. They don't even give you, uh... Give them them. I guess I would have to still touch it. Or something. It's pretty full looking though. Oh wait, come on here. It looks like there is like suspicious whatever that is. Like dirt. And what is this? Cracked mud bricks. So I can't actually like get these. That's that's okay. I wonder if I mean how do you make a brush? I can't grab those. I'll have to look into it. The deep water pit. really cool. Let's head this way. Some reeds. What was this crying obsidian? Maybe I should climb the mountain up there. Crazy stuff though. Um, what else? What else? Let's see. It's not exactly the best biome. But I was hoping to be a little something interesting, but like, so I always prefer like more of a flatter biome. These hilly biomes are just a lot more generally like not able to work with at least for me like i i know other people can do it just fine but for me i never really enjoy like the hugely like forested areas what the heck is this oh it's another one of these that's anywhere in here wood i think i think snow can go on trees on wood, I mean. I guess not. Better get somewhere nice and safe here. Because it's about to get a bit dark. The mobs are about to spawn. You know, down here sounds like a good idea. Well, maybe not down there. Let's go into this wall here. Be a nice little area for right now. Some tree lights. Also, I do have the the basic uh, lighting stuff 
where you, when you're walking it with the torch, it lights up the place. It's always a must. Always nice to have. Alright, um... One and then I don't have a room for any more, so let me do more. And a chest. There we go. And let me grab my doors here. Right, perfect. Uh, pop some of the junk in here. I don't need right now. Don't need that. Don't need that. Well, I could eat those. These are good to eat. Uh, okay, I need to cook those. I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need the pumpkin seeds. Not planting. Or the melons. Or the wheats. Or the reeds. Or the... Well, I mean, I'll probably need that, but not now. All right, now let's eat. All right, there we go. Now let's make some tools here. So I got some, at least some tools to work with. So I need the shovel. All right, and also well, here's the other cool thing I added. It's like right out of the Minecraft movie. You can see the blocks and you can see the item they're crafting above it. It's so cool. Because I'm Steve. Where are you growling at? Oh, you're chasing the uh, skeleton. Tip. That's great. Let's uh, grab the tools over here. There we go. Should put some uh, normal music on. Just to uh, chill the mood here, because um, well, having just a normal Minecraft music on is nice. It does get a little like quiet every once in a while. It is it would be nice just to chill with some uh, generalized music. So I mean, I do literally have a playlist that I can play. So let me do that. Uh, do, 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 do where is it? Here it is. All right, awesome. And if you're playing, oh, I have it. Do I have it muted? Oh, wait, I might have to, have to edit it. Oh, one second. I have to interact. Oh, weird. Why is there no audio? Oh, I see why. I'm dumb. Sorry about that. It's, uh, so, like, there. That should be good. It's not too loud. It's not too quiet. There we go. And let me turn the music off in game. Might have to actually go into videos. Oh no, not video. Uh, mods. Let's see where is it. Done. Mods. Music. Notification. So I just want to turn it off. Let's see, turn it off. No, I guess that would probably be the best. That should be good. Fine. All right, there we go. And again, let me know if the uh, music's fine. I think it's oh, it should be good for audio-wise. Not too loud, not too obnoxious. So 
wonder what time it is. So the other thing is, while I do have the tooltip on and stuff like that, or not tooltip, the minimap on, I decided instead of just relying on it, you know, oh, I can look at the time on it. I mean, technically, I think I can do that already with the lighting, sort of, on the minimap. But the one thing I wanted to make sure is I would have the, um, if I have the compass on and the clock on, it will show in the top right. Their ability is replacing a 10. Okay. I, interesting. Did not know that a pop-up would show up for that, something like that. What do you mean by replacing? Is it going to like craft it for me? So like, I did some testing. I didn't do all testing. Some stuff is like completely like, I might have to disable that noise because that is a an annoying noise to deal with. Um, let's make a normal iron. So I really should, yeah, I should turn that off. I don't like that. And let me just use up the that the wood after I get the iron here. This one? Really? Wow, that, it really, it was just one piece of... Okay. That was a bit cheap. But, you know. One's better than none. But yeah, I'll probably at least turn that audio off of that. Because that's... I don't really like uh, that noise. Give me a replace failed. All right, that's annoying. Let me find where that is. Like, why did they think that's a good idea? Um, item. The do stack refill. This is probably what it is. Can you not? Quality of life mods automatically refills the item in the hand of a player when we're using the fun. No, I don't think it's that. can't modify it. What does this say again? Inventory PN. Oh, it's a cave. Is that water? That is water. Okay then. Um, I don't got any coal. That's a problem. And I could smelt down to get some charcoal. Um, uh, what should I do? What should I do? First off, fix this pickaxe thing. So it's, a, it's a... Wait, I mean, that sounds like it's like a resource pack thing. Oh, uh, don't remember resource pack. Don't remember resources. It was like IPN. So it's not that. What is it? IPN. It has to be this because lib IPN. Uh, it's, it's, uh, this thing is like a broken, so just mind that. What is that? No! What the hell? Ah. Oh, that's just sad. Ah. Oh. I was even down there and it happened. So it has to be this then. Toggle test. Config menu. Yeah, this is it. Uh, activate on press. Advanced key binding settings. Allow extra key binding. Yeah, this is like broken. Inventory, let's see. Inventory. Alright, this might be it. Alright, item scrolling. Is this it? I'll scroll the whole stack. What did I just pick up? What? I. I well, what does this mean? Why did I get different. 
What is it? Was it hydra hydran hydrangea? What? Okay. But yeah, let me back here. Mods. Inventory. Scroll the whole stack. Temporarily disable. Auto refill cursor. That's fine. Dude. Auto always throw, always include hotbar, just refill stacks. Has to be in the autofill. Maybe if I search here, what is uh what would it be called? Um Tool? Use items from lock chest, refill small available stack. Fill armor before it breaks, replace tools before they break, yeah. Turn that off. Also, I, the one thing is I don't want the pop-up stuff. I mean, I don't mind it doing the stuff, but... Um... Announce. Maybe it's announce? Doesn't even... Maybe it's... A, that probably is a GUI thing. Enable profile announcement on change to play. Yeah, I think that's... I don't want that. Um... Yeah, I think that should be good. I mean, let's test. Yeah, that worked. Okay, cool. Perfect. Um, what should I do here? Probably just put some cobble down over it. Also, if you guys have any um music suggestions for like my playlist, since I am making a new playlist for people to use and not not just myself, since I do have it on my YouTube channel, um, I'm planning on expanding on it and just like making another uh, 12 hour one because it's always good to have like multiple playlists that if you ever get bored of one you can always hop into a different one and all that because even if it is 12 hours you eventually the repeating of it gets annoying so so how do you drown in here and i guess you could but What is that over there? Alright, let's head back in there. Let's see what that is. Oh, it's just a reflection thing. Little neat underwater thing here. Nothing too crazy down in here. Ow! I didn't even touch the land on you. Yeah, this is cool. Some copper. Nothing too interesting. So let me see a little low here, so let me turn that up a little. I mean, it's not really low, but... Oh! Oops. Look, I forgot about that. Let me head out of here. I'm already low HP by accident. Ow! Ow! The hell? Jeez. I actually turned it up too how loud. There we go. It's a low energy fun time here. Um, let me heal up here. So what time is it now? All right, it's daytime. How much you can? All right, it's a little past noon. So let me eat my bread and heal up, and then God dang it!
Also, if you don't know, uh, notice the music is name is listed on the right. So. Interesting. There's nothing. What's that? There's something blue. What is that? Icicle. This is new. Also, coal, I need that. Let me put a stick on it. So, can you, what can you do with these? Because, I mean, I know I got four papers here, but I have two papers here that I don't even know where they even came from. Alright, let's grab this coal. Let's get to Hopper while we're here as well. I do want to make a uh, a copper uh, spyglass, so. Now that is something I could include in my place. I don't think I've included Minecraft music into it. So, that is a good idea that I just thought of. Alright, there we go. Got all the copper. There's some there, but I don't really need that. Oh, wait, more coal. Also, if you guys have any uh, suggestions for mods, I'm always up for it. Like I said, I am on 1.21.1, I think it is. The newest one. So, keep that in mind when you're, if you are suggesting a mod or two. Same with resource packs. I'm always interested in resource packs. As long as it keeps the same feel. That's the main thing I want. So I, I really don't like, um, like I said earlier, like mods that really get crazy in the, the department of like what they do. Mostly the stuff that would like, if you feel like naturally like, oh, this progresses the, the game, like how uh, Mojang would go, stuff like that. All right, let me get some air. In. And then this hole, and then I will go back into my little base of operations. As mobs are starting to spawn. Should we do here? What is it? What do these do? Like, I got some crafting recipes updated. It looks like. 
Um, icicle. Icicle. No, nothing. Interesting. I mean, I got nine of them. Can I make a block? I can make a block, an icicle block. That's neat. Oh, icicle chest. Armor? No. Dance? No. I mean, I guess I could make a block. Let's see what happens if I do this. Well, I got more recipes, it says, so let's see what I got with the recipe of the icicle block. Um... Is that it? Is that really all you can do with that? I guess. Okay then. I guess I found an icicle block now. And I could unbreak it? Yeah, I could. Alright, that's fine, I guess. I'll pop that in here then. Let me just make it a block and just so I could store it well. Uh this I can also make a block if I really want to. But yeah. It'll help uh store this down a little bit. I mean, like two large portions of it. Uh can I do that with dirt? I'm not sure actually. Is it comp compacted dirt? No. That would be a good mod to add, if there was one. Let me organize this. There we go. Coal, I need a whole bunch of, uh... torches. There we go. And let me put uh, them in my offhand. Alright, there we go. So, yeah, I needed the cobble to continue going down. Alright, there we go. Get these blocks. Alright, now we can go keep on digging. want to at least at least for this stream I want to get a few little far into this um and also I should smelt the iron where is wait where is the iron oh there it is three um yeah I want to at least the goal here is just to get a nice basic base of operations before if I actually end it and all that, because I do want to have a nice little, uh, home, I guess you would say. To get things situated. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Alright, and let's melt this. And put all of them in here. But yeah, I put it together really nice, like... In my opinion, like, a really comfortable, like, looking, like, pack. Like, nothing too crazy. I didn't want... There's not too many mobs that I modified. Um, what is that over there? The map. Oh, it's a zombie villager. I wonder what the, uh... Can I do the surface? Um... I guess not, no. Yeah. Where have I uh, walked so far? So I think I spawned here. No. No, I think I spawned here. And then I walked this way. 
Um, here was, I think this is, no, was this the village I was at? Or is this a different village? I'll have to look and see when I get out. You know, I can just do this here. Here we go. Well, that's a different village. I should visit that. No. Not them baby zombies. Worst things in them ever. Ugh. Scared me half to death there. Right, let's, let's just continue mining. Oh wait, no. I think it just finished. Alright, now I can craft it. And here we go. Perfect. Oh yeah, man, imagine if that zombie was smart. He would like, oh, go around, look for a spot to get to me, and hop down here. Yeah, I, no. Oh god, I would hate that. I'd rather have, a, have dumb uh, NPCs than actually, like, anything competent like that. Like, oh man, I can't get in here this way. Let me go around and try to find another way in. That'd literally be like... I would hate that 100%. Anything like N like NPC wise that are like try to act smart always leads to less of a fun time. Like you can have like generally smart NPCs like in games where you know like they seem like oh they were built to be smart generally. However, as soon as you make them like closer and closer, like oh this is like a perfect like. A perfect he's almost like a person that's when it starts becoming less of a uh, like a fun like like character or like creation it becomes more like oh man I have to deal with this guy because you have to imagine you as a player you're only one person and then you have to deal with all these individually insanely smart NPCs that you can never do wrong Unless you program them where they do it wrong. Which, a lot of times when you're working on, uh, like, any, any NPC stuff, AI work, like, like, NPC AI, not, you know, like, AI AI. Um, it always becomes an issue of, like, oh, we should, um, keep on making it smarter and smarter and smarter. Because, you know, that's really cool. It's impressive to do something really smart. So it's like a human. But... Humans make mistakes. You don't want a perfect machine. So I literally... And so that's like a, a sort of like... Thing that even the most general like... Like programmer has issues with in a way. But they always like want to go for the best of the best. So... That's my opinion on that. Eventually, I do want to, um, like I said, like, since this is open for people to join if they do, uh, download the mod packs and all that nonsense, um, they can, they can join eventually. Today's is more so a starting stream. I do want to eventually, like, create a little, uh, hub area. Because once you make that, most people are going to be, oh man, that's so cool, I want to join in. That's usually how it goes, uh, for stuff like that. And I'd be down, like, eventually, if, uh, people want in chat want to join that I know and trust. I, I literally, uh, w would invite you guys. So, I would probably turn off in-game chat, though. Just, you know, just in case. You know how, uh, trolls can be sometimes. But. But, Yeah. Also, this was another uh, uh, nice addition. So you see this pillar of gravel? You break the bottom, it breaks all the ones above it. Wait, why is that? I guess uh, the mod might have an issue of like, oh man, I can't tell. That there's uh, gravel there. Let's 
such a nice, uh, wonder if it, does it impact the, my tool at all? It doesn't look like it. Still, I mean, considering what I would usually do, would I would, uh, place a torch real fast, so it's better than, than I not. I also have it set up to be for sand, I think, so... That'll make, uh... Yeah, the torch trick is always nice. But... It's honestly goes back all the way early Minecraft. And then they decided, oh yeah, yeah we're gonna keep that. It's a feature. <laughs> but yeah, I also did the thing with uh, sand as well. So it's gonna make uh, desert mining and getting glass a little easier as well. I mean, I have to see because I had to act, actually like add that parameter myself and the uh, like information of the mod listing stuff. But, but yeah, it's, it's a little casual, like fun time. Some more coal and copper. But yeah, so the one thing I have plans is they should. I know doors still do. I don't think um, sugarcane does. And so I still use that trick uh, of the door when I go to the uh, sunken uh, ships. They, since they still have the air in the door. I think the issue is I don't think you can place a door on the same block as you. So... Now, this one is... It's above uh, my character on the right is the name of the song. Since I have it uh, basically put there just so you can always see the song that's currently playing from my music playlist. Oh, inventory is full. Yeah, this one is... That was in your door. You, if you check on here, I could, let me grab the link here. Actually, let me interact. So I can interact with it, and then it was. Yeah, I'm at two seven. A little more, a little more before. It was the base from Sonic Adventure Two. That's what it was. So let me go back over to seven. All right, there we go. So yeah, Sonic Adventure 2, that was... All right, there we go. All right, let me get out of here and uh, place my items in the chest. I think it is daytime, so I don't see too many mobs on the surface right now. Yeah, it is. Alright, perfect. He shoved the cobble away and the gravel away and the flint away. I don't need the dirt. Well, I need one of the cobble stacks. 38. But yeah, I don't need any of the other. I don't need the chests. Don't need the sticks. Don't need the bones. Um, I think that should be good. Let me make some more cobble blocks to store this better. Oops. And then put that there. And that leaves me with four. Okay. There, pop them in there. All right, awesome. So that made up more room for me. So what is that bell on this song? 
Never, never even noticed that. Maybe you pick up the things I didn't pick up yet. That's a lot of copper. Oh, actually, let me use my uh, stone for this view. That's a, too much copper. My favorite video game OST is very tricky. Um, obviously, I love Yoshi Island. Yoshi Island OST is really good. Um, but that's more of like a, a nostalgia favorite OST. I wouldn't really say it's like my favorite favorite music wise OST, but it is like my favorite like that I I have fond memories of. Um. It's hard to really specify. Oh, man, I have so many like. So I my door open. So many albums that I love. It's hard. It's hard to tell. Yeah, it's got a lot of earworms. Yoshi Island. I mean, I also love Yoshi stories as well. Like everyone's like. I see what's happening here. My, I have a issue with my mouse currently where it's, it's for some reason double clicks. I have to figure that out. But, um, but yeah, Yoshi Story is another one that I really love. Also, I actually see what the issue is. Uh, Yoshi Story has a lot of like a lot of strange music in it, um, that you wouldn't expect. <laughs> uh, it's such a <laughs> silly song. <laughs> I I forget they I forget what they're exactly saying. They're saying something like that was said somewhere. Have you ever? Uh, so one of my uh, little tidbits of information that I always loved was that the Yoshi Island, I think it was Island, it might have been a story, I get the two uh, two of them mixed up sometimes with the, the factoids I know, but when uh, they released the album, like the whole song album, in Japan exclusively, they had one extra song on it and it was specifically like a credits sort of song where i think it was uh koji kondo asked the staff around the uh studio like like what's their favorite food because you know like yoshi i story i think it was yeah yeah it had been the story then uh yoshi story was you know very heavily food focused um and he it, like all the staff like most of the staff that worked on the game would constantly like you know they would like they themselves would say like oh like my favorite food is like is rice of course or uh curry curry was a uh, the very common one i think one of them said rice but curry was a very fan favorite uh there uh one of them said like oh my favorite uh <laughs> yeah i know this was is playing up a little bit like but my favorite um food is the, the food that my wife makes at home and they're like oh man if that, that would be nice man you're you're lucky and stuff like that ah ooh, fell in all. um and stuff like that. It, it's it's really cool and like special, like something like that. Um, and because you rarely ever see like, oh man, like the devs like, of like any Nintendo game have any like sort of personal touching, because it, they're always so seclu uh, exclusive, not exclusive, secluded. There's a word. Um, there's a word similar to exclusive. I can't think of it. Look, oh my god, I can't think, I can't say it. Um, you know what I mean. It's like basically like they're so secluded in a way. But yeah, it's all the human side of it. It's really cool. But I wish sort of like we could have a little more of that per se. Because I feel a lot of people forget that like 
especially in the gaming world nowadays, is that like every all the games you play are made by people. It's not a single entity. It's not like, for example, oh, it's not Mo this Mojang, the one singular person, John Mojang, made this game. No, there's multiple people. Uh, I really don't like when people like, oh, it's like, for example, like Metal Gear. Everyone attributes everything to uh, Kojima. Like I, I find that very like demoralizing in a way for like developers where you put your hard work of course you're paid for it and all that but like even indie games have the same symptoms and they're some of them are free games so you like you trip when you everything's to one single person but what i'm saying is like i really wish like the industry as a whole would instead of like putting a figurehead at the top it would be like, oh, we have the we have these developers. These developers are from, blah blah blah. They worked on this. That's one thing that makes Balatro so impressive with his success. He's uh, he made a game for himself, and it just so happens that a lot of people gave uh, seem to agree with his taste. Yeah, that's another thing that's really great. But see, like, and that's the thing. Another, I guess I I could say I could uh, bring my like sort of comment about such is people who play Balatro, I I would say like the majority of the people when they play that game, they probably do not know the who the person who made it. Uh, this isn't no fault to them because that sort of is a thing that you aren't really told often, but and it's not so, something that you actively try to remember. Like, you will know, like, oh, a Nintendo game is made by Nintendo because you play so many Nintendo games. But when it comes to, say, like, an indie game, you aren't really going to, oh, I'm going to make sure to remember them. The only time you ever do that, especially when you're younger, uh, but even especially even more, I guess, when you're older, is when it leaves a lasting impression on you. And even then, I know some people don't really actively try to remember that. They just happen chance, like... Oh yeah, I should like I should remember that. Yeah, but it's a big issue I feel like in, in the industry as a whole, especially when, for example, like I, local thing I don't even know. Like honestly, I haven't played Balatro, so I haven't even like really or really watched gameplay of it because it's not entirely my type of game. But even then, it's like it's hard to no like i'm i'm at fault in the as well for a lot of things but for that however i still try to my best to remember indie games um another nonsense what is that yellow thing something out there what is that I don't want to like break that. Nope. What is that? Looks like a creeper. Oh, there's another one. That is a creeper. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that right now. But, uh, what was I saying? Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what I was saying it was that, generally speaking, like, the average person doesn't really care about who makes a game, why they make the game. The only time they ever do is if it makes, like, a lasting impact on them. Which, fair, that's, you sort of, what the hell was that? Why is there a mannequin? What? There's a mannequin near me. Is it on the tree? Above the tree? What the hell? 
this is supposed mannequin. Is it under me? Yeah, I don't see it under here. Alright, that, that's weird. But yeah, uh, now what were you saying here? Um, doesn't help with, uh, help with how much there is. It had started enough to play a lot of the games, but being well informed of them as well as a tall test. Yeah. Agreed. I mean, like, I barely play games as of late because it's due to the fact that my focus as of doing stuff is mostly just like playing games and then like making like con like like videos not videos really but i mean yeah videos i guess you'd say at the music playlist stuff um did i make the other pickaxe no i didn't let me do that um but yeah it's i basically i do a lot of stuff like modding uh making game packs that i i do want to play more of since right now, I, I when I make a game pack, I mostly just like, I make it and then I'm done with it. Actually, let me make a sword. And I don't really stream it. At, at times, I do want to stream though. That's the thing that I want to start doing. Because like, if I'm playing it and I'm experiencing it, I want to actually put like, time and, and show it off. Because of course, like, you know, like I send my, a lot of the game packs to like Vinny and such. And while it's cool that he checks it out, he doesn't check them out like 100%. And sometimes he does miss some things, which is fair. That happens. That happens to everyone when they're playing a game and whatnot. So, but I want to get into that and start playing stuff myself. Yeah, the job gets in the way of streaming. Yeah, that's fair. Um, Myself, like, I always want to... Like, I sort of always want... I have the issue of me when i'm streaming and i want to play a game i have the issue of like oh man i could do so many other stuff i have all this other thing uh, stuff i want to get done and do so why don't i focus on that it's more rewarding and there's not as much of a uh feeling like i'm not doing nothing that's my main issue when i i uh, like i stream i feel like if there's no instant gratification which is it's a whole part of my like adhd stuff i just I prefer having that instant gratification of, oh, I did something, I made it, I'm happy. Oh, I, it's, it's almost complete. It's almost there. When you're making, a, playing a game, especially like, a, say, like Minecraft, um, there's not as much of a gratifica uh, gratis gratification. I can't speak today for some reason. Um, you have to make your own. And so if you're just going into it, um, like vanilla like i'm not going vanilla right now i'm doing modded so i have a sort of sense of like i want to find the stuff i want to score around so i don't have that many of uh issue playing it but it's always nice to be able to uh tackle such do such but yeah it's like that's one of the things why man there's a little laggy there Let's be rendering some stuff. Um, but yeah, it's like that's one of the things like I was uh, saying earlier. Like another thing that I've added for interest is I did take a few. I think it was like two days of setup to get this working properly. But it's just to get the like the mods that I wanted to look at, as well as wait, is this this way? No, this is another thousand year door song. Oh my god, what the hell? fuck was that I think my game is haunted or some shit <laughs> like I literally just like a whole bunch of like fire just set loose on me 
I've never seen that happen before. talking about Let's talk about something oh yeah uh i have the the game set up to like i spent a little time working on it and basically i have it set up to be like server so anyone can generally join if they have the mod pack that i i basically put out to a few of the friends there's many a full runs of luigi's mansion on stream for spooky month Ooh, that sounds pretty fun I only, I think I've played uh, Luigi Mansion like once. I need to eat more. Um, I need to like actually cook stuff here. But yeah, I've only ever played it once when I was like younger. I I beat the whole thing. I remember, but it's something that would be interesting to revisit. It's been a while. I haven't played any of the newer ones that have come out. Uh, as well you've been learning out of bounds clips ooh interesting take a five hour game if you know what you're doing right 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 here's um so growing up i never i mean not never but like most of the games that i played were mostly you know like sort of like shovelware in a way um and one of my favorite ones that i used to play all the time was the Mickey's uh, Amazing Mirror, I think it was called, for the GameCube, I believe it was. Um, and, okay, yeah, that, that, that broke that. Yeah, I have, I have a few issues with some things here. I think it's my resource packs that are having issues. Uh, is it this one? Let's see. But yeah, it's, um, it was, that one was, to me, like, I, I played Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, it was that, okay. And then I played that game, and, because I, I, or, I got that game. Because, it's like, oh man, it's like another Luigi's Mansion. I can't wait to play this. Let me take a drink real quick. And when I got into it, I'm like, this isn't Luigi's Mansion, but it was still cool. It was still like a haunted, like sort of uh, building. And it was sort of, it was sort of point and clickish. I had a lot of fun playing it, though. That was like one of the games that I really enjoyed playing growing up. Um, let me throw more of this junk in here. But like when I was playing it, though, like there were so many like amazing, like scary moments. I, I was like. Especially when I was younger, I was really scared of, like, a lot of, like, stupid stuff. Like, I was a very, uh, Oh my god, is that the, the ghosts are gonna take me away? Stuff like that. Uh, yours was Incredibles, Nemo, and Dora. I had the Incredible Hulk. That was a notorious, uh, bad one, apparently. Um, I loved it. I, I loved playing that. I had, uh, I even had like a whole bunch of it like on uh, PS2, like shovelware stuff. I had uh, the Zubumafu, uh, a PS1 game for the PS2. That one was edutainment level of, uh, of like, yeah. It was, uh, that, no, unironically, that game gave me nightmares. Not just, not like, like stress nightmares. Because I would play that game, and I was never able to beat this one level because of the fact that it was so there. There was like swamp pits, like there's like tar pits in the one level, and if you touch it, you basically you restart at the beginning of the level, and the the game itself is based off collecting like fruits and. Um, like berries to fill up the uh the, the food gauge thing you know if you know the move i know the show you know like what what it is um and what ended up happening is every time you like touch this pit even if you gradually touch it it resets 
And I was like, as how, how old was I? I was probably I was like in third grade or so. I just had like so much like, like oh my god, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't this game. And there's like the game has like no music at whatsoever. It was all ambient noise, like of like birds chirping, like loud, loud ambient noise. And and when there was no ambient noise, you would hear, you know, the like animal fun fact. Did you know? And, and you hear that over and over uh, when you go through a level, and it's it's very very annoying. There, there's some speedruns of that game as well, which is impressive. Some people even found like a, a like a really interesting skip in that, where it's like. Well, not really interesting, but it's neat that it can happen. Where you can time uh, an animal fun fact with a tutorial uh, aspect, and it will skip the one because they happen right at the exact same time. Um, I was scared of Talkman from Pac-Man World. I remember turning the game off when I would came over. <laughs> hey, I mean, you were just getting ready for uh, quick resets right there. You turn the game off and then you would start back up and now have to deal with the uh with the uh nonsense. <laughs> but yeah, um I was also one of the things that scared me a lot as a kid. It wasn't game related, but it was um I used to put on Jurassic Park as a kid and I was so scared of the um, of the dinosaur. Oh, you had no memory card. Oof. Never able to win that game. That sucks. Well, I mean, hey, na nowadays you can play it, do that. You can uh, eventually you can maybe even stream that. I mean, there's even the newer uh, that that remake collection. You could probably play and defeat that game. And then you could defeat that uh, talk man for good. Defeat that young use scared uh, aspect to that mon uh, to the uh, guy. Honestly, I have barely any memory of that game. I I played that like once. Well, not once, but you know, I played that when I was younger. I think I beat it. I can't remember. That was one was uh, one of those games I have like almost zero memory of. But other than that, I know I did play it. Ah, you got on the Switch and watched German play it. Ah, nice. It's, it's eventually something that I want to uh, play. But as of right now, not really uh, in, in a platformer mood. I never really was a platformer kind of person. Like, I enjoy platformers somewhat, but I've always had issues with them. Like, just as a me skill issue. Since I've never been a... A good 2D platformer. Pack a uh, Pack World was one of those things like it generally felt better to play, but it was still a little loose to play. But uh, Zelda Mario, your favorites? Yeah, I enjoy Mario. Um, I, <laughs> I, I this is fun to say, but. For me, I was more of a Sonic person. I used to play Sonic Adventure, Sonic Advance. Um, not really the OG 2D Sonics. Um, I was never really into those ones because there's man, it's like a little glitchy here. I was never really into that. Um, into those because they were a little less forgiving compared to the newer ones. I mean, even then, Sonic Adventure or Sonic Advance were as forgiving as you would. As I'm saying, but regardless of that, um, Mario, I until it went 3D, I never was really good at Mario. I always had issues with the controls. I mean, they were supposedly the best, but I mean, I always found them to be a little too floaty at times. Even Mario, uh, like that's why I never was able to be a uh, Super Mario World at times because first off, one of the things that I hated about and like generally was that I always hated that the the death pits I never ever found them the good and 
the one uh, Super Mario World level where you had to like stand on these the platforms moving over literally a bottomless pit the whole level. I was never able to beat that. And by the time that I like I would keep on game overing and game overing. And I hated live systems, especially in platformers, because they never teach you like a game over doesn't teach you how to progress. You just, it's just punishment for punishment's sake. And if you game over, that just ends up you having to do the, all these other levels that might not even have any connection to the reason why you lost this level. And then you lose over and over again on these, this level. Yeah. I, I Younger me really did not like Super Mario World in that aspect. I enjoyed Super Mario World, uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. But it's always why I preferred Yoshi, just due to the fact that when I was playing Yoshi, you have a little flutter, uh, a flutter jump, so you have time to like you know save from a bad fall. It, it was far more forgiving than say a Mario game. Hey, it's dark down there. But yeah, I played a world, uh, world in uh, Super Mario 3 on like GBA. Yeah, I think I played um, All Stars as well. I played All Stars Mario Bros. 2, and I, I I have vague memories of that. I don't have any idea if I ever beat them as well. I know I I love Mario Bros. 2. That's something that I inherently like love in my my brain. I have no memory of ever beating it because there's so much Mario Bros. 2 stuff in my head that it, I think it replaced the memory of me defeating the game. But I do have a lot of fond memories of that game. So I think I, I did at some point beat it. Man, I, man I'm pretty far down. But yeah. um, I haven't really touched a Sonic game in forever. I'm probably going to eventually uh, play the Sonic uh, Generations Time of Shadow. That is something that I'm very interested in checking out. Since right now it's like... It's a, a few games on my uh, radar that I really want to check out and play. But... I'm so lucky that advanced games were on the Game Boy. I wouldn't have been able to play uh, Link to the Past, Mario World, Mario 3, Yoshi's Island if they were on that platform. Yeah, honestly agreed. Like, for the older games, like, I grew up on, like, I, like, my family, we had a lot of the older games. My brother was, is 10 years older than me, so I got a lot of hand-me-downs. Um, not as much, uh, but I did play, like, I had the N64. I had the uh, SNES. I wasn't really an NES person, so most of the S uh, the NES stuff sort of passed me until like later on, which is why those advanced games are not advanced, the uh, deluxe games and uh, Super Mario Bros. Uh, DX and stuff like that was more so when I got more so introduced into those classics. However, like I said, wasn't too much of a fan of the live systems that they had, but I still played them. I like even though I lost and died a lot I always I went back played them over and over and over again it's not like that really defeated the point for me that I play them but I was more so like a Game Boy person like I was big on handheld my first ever console was a Game Boy um and my first ever game I'm pretty sure or at least one that la had a lasting impact on me I think it uh, was uh Pokemon TCG Game Boy Color. The hell? Yeah, this game is definitely like something screwing up here. But yeah. Also, there seems to be some sort of structure ahead. So I see a, something in front of me. See, for me, I'm I'm I personally love RPGs. I mean, for, to, to be fair, I haven't really played like an RPG RPG, you know, a traditional sense. But I love Pokemon. Pokemon's always been like my go-to. Let me see if I can head over to this. 
like, generally speaking, if you give me a Pokemon game, I'll play it. I don't care what kind. Oh yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! I played the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, games as well. Uh, yeah, so the Yukio games that I loved were the ones on the PS1. Um, it was Forbidden Memories was the one that I had the most mem like fond memories of as I growing up. Um, however, the one that I think I had the most like enjoyment out of was uh, the Yukio Tag Duel on the PSP. Those games I loved. <laughs> Like, like I, I honestly, like, eventually I might want, I might uh, revisit them somehow. I'm not sure, like, how those PSP things, like, work, like, emulation-wise. I think they, I think that you can do that well. But I'm hoping, like, Sony, like, I, I, I'm not a Sony person at all anymore. I fell off that at way... In the past, but all right, not... carrots. Carrots is one and a half. All right, that's better than potatoes. But like I was saying, like PSP is possibly like one of my favorite handhelds. Not the PSP, uh, not the PS Vita. Never got the Vita. I had friends discourage me from getting the Vita. Um, however, the PSP was literally my favorite handheld console. Maybe next to the, uh... Wait, where'd it go? Did it disappear? Alright, um, but what I was saying was, yeah, I was stuck in Nintendo land all my life, never got to get anything, any, wait, never got to get anything else until I was in high school and got a PS4. I always thought, I uh, always thought that seemed cool, had a neighbor with a Naruto game. Ah, uh, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, I, so my console history was basically like this. Need gold here. Um, I did... So, like I said, Game Boy was my first, like, game console. Um, that was, like, I was, like, what grade was that? God, um, maybe kindergarten, not kindergarten, meh, kindergarten, first grade. Ah, PSP, okay. Oh, it's all good, it's all good. But, yeah, it's, um... Yeah, like, so it went, uh, Game Boy to... Oh, here's the here's the entrance to the building. What is this? Is this a stronghold? Did I literally build on top of a stronghold. I think I have. Ooh, piercing and death strider. Wow, I, I can't believe I literally dug down into... Oh, whoa. Oh, my God. Ow. Oh, how far away. Well, good thing I have a, a death marker. Well, I mean, so that at least marks where I was. That's good. So at least I know where my my space is. So let me uh, set a waypoint here. Uh -huh. Yeah, they hit hard. But I mean, this is why I have my inventory thing on. Uh 
I, I'm mostly playing as a casual playthrough. I don't want anything like super annoying to happen. Like that happen. Well, I was expecting it to hit that hard, but you know. That will go sometimes. So I, I did not see that last time. The, ow. The caravan. Let me check that out. But yeah, like I was saying, my, uh, my console, like, sort of life cycle that I went through was... I went through the Game Boy. I had a SNES, but that was more of a hand-me-down. And then after the hand-me-downs, uh, like, stuff like that. Um, ooh, fishing rod. I'm breaking, nice. Um, I don't need you this cobble. Torch flower seeds, nice. And I don't need this. Alright, there we go. Um, but yeah, PSP, SNES, well, no, Game Boy, SNES, N64, then after N64, I got, what was that, um, I don't think I got a PS1. I remember playing my friend's PS, well, not my friend, my cousin's PSP, uh, PS1. That's sort of what got me into, like, going down the ps1 or uh, sony stuff um and then afterwards i moved from there and did the um where am i going here that way okay yeah after the ps1 like do i have my bones on me yeah i do have bones all right i want you perfect you don't want anything okay um but yeah after the n64 i got the i think it was the gamecube and then the ps2 because you know there was a, so much hype of it already at the time and i was already sort of on board the ps1 so i got the ps2 and since it was i already had they said oh man the ps2 you can play ps1 games on it that sold me like instantly because it allows me to up the old catalog that I know I had friends play on and my cousin played and all that and so I did that and then afterwards I uh, after I got I think it was the PSP was the next thing after that I didn't get the Xbox 360 oh I forgot about this so I think this was after GameCube um I got the Xbox and this was interesting in the sense that when I got the Xbox here, oh man, this is so cool. Oh, the pillar of wood. In a furnace, looks like. I didn't build this. Nothing in it. Why is it lit? Um, I can't believe we missed out on the PS2 in high school. I bought my Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 and borrowed the friends and used my PS1 controller I've had forever. <laughs> yeah, like PS2, that was like where I I picked up the Sony thing. But it was also the that and then the PSP were basically the last Sony stuff because I really wasn't into PS3 and PS4 completely looked bad me and then ps5 was like yeah no like i am very like at this point like with what sony's been doing very anti-sony in the sense of like consumer wise because they're very anti-consumer as of late um so they've just been being uh become very um negative company in my point of view for games and gamers and all that nonsense um oh there's a i think there's a building over here yeah ps5 is just ps4 too it's not worth it yeah i agree it's a fire why is there a fire oh it's lava 
There's another building here, though. Nothing in them. For all so yeah, exactly. That's another thing. Like, you're su you're supporting these older consoles, and you know we have all the PS4 and we have the uh, was Xbox One, and I think the Xbox One isn't getting as many uh, support as of late. However, the um, so where's the death marker that way? This is probably attached to the same network, but. What I was saying was that, like, for the most part, the no one wants to get the PS5 or the Xbox Series X and all that. And now that you have the the PS5 Pro, it's like I don't get who is buying these, like both of these consoles. I I know like so, there's so many Sony diehards right now that exist. They're like, oh man, I'm gonna get this console because you know Sony for life, blah blah blah. Which, I mean, hey, you do you. That's fine. Um, I mean, I got a Switch, but my Switch currently is a little, bleh, like, busted in a way. Because the the battery went out and doesn't hold a charge. I have to get that replaced eventually. But I'm probably not going to do that uh, until, like, after the Switch 2 comes out. Which I'm pretty sure the, the like, the current existing date for such is, like, like I'm, I think the rumor right now is, like, October 10th. So... So that's the main thing that I am looking for, and I, I've heard. Oh, oops, phone died. Not saying uh, I mean, old console is bad. It's just the fact that it's getting the same games and new genre. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's basically what I was uh, agreeing with. Uh, this way, it was in the snow that I built. But yeah, um, I personally think like. mountain what bedrock weird oh log here where did I build that Maybe it was this way? Oh yeah, the OLED, OLED yeah. I, 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 there's an issue with the OLED is that a lot of games will run way worse on the OLED than the base switch. Um, for example, a lot of the uh, Minecraft, or not Minecraft, uh, Pokemon, Bugs and Scarlet and Violet are solely related to the OLED. Yeah, it's like the stutters, the like everything about it. OLED, yeah, the OLED is inherently worse because of the processor they use, and it causes an inconsistency issue with lower frame rates, um, like memory leak stuff. But yeah, it's like a lot of games have a lot of issues with the OLED. Just to the fact that it's built on a different infrastructure, I believe it was. Something of the sort. Where is... Where did I... Like, I died... What the hell is that? Oh, it's, I think it's a box. Um... Right here, where did I build my... It, had to be, it has to be like here, or here. I'm, I'm thinking it's here because there's a lot of, there's like, it looks like copper, or not copper, stone. So let me face where that is. Yeah, I'll go that way. Um, I wouldn't know the last book when you played with sword. Okay, that's fair. What is this? Yeah, that is a creeper. 
didn't seem like it wanted to explode. Be this way. Um, but yeah, basically how I feel is that when you're creating a all right. Yeah, I don't even know where I am right now. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. That's what's happening. It's this side, the other side of the mountain. I wish I could use both. My extra hand, uh, extra one is useless uh, off Wi-Fi, and every game has to be the uh, no, SO verification before every game. Right, right, right. I think this. Yeah, I think I'm heading the right direction here. Oh no. Uh... God dang it. <sighs> I freaking hate the zombie. Maybe zombies. Oh, is this supposed to be like a grave? Alright. Uh, right. I feel like I should just like fly over there honestly, at this point. I mean, I, I wouldn't really harm me. No, that's not really the issue. I don't... I, I know where I died. Is I have to find where the entrance to where I go into my base set is. That's my confusion. <laughs> like, I can, I can head to where the death is. I just don't know where exactly... The entrance to my bases. Like, it's up there, but I need to figure out how to get down to it. Me. All right, so yeah, I remember discovering this. This was really cool. I went around this way. Just have to retrace my steps. Went around this way, and I think I went up this. Yeah, I went up this mountain here. Basically, went down this way, I think. It wasn't exactly this, but I know I went this way. Wait, I see a light. Is that lava or is that it's lava? Okay. I'm going the right direction, I feel. Ah, oh, dang it. Alright, I'm figuring. Let me go change my game mode. I'm just a little annoyed. <laughs> I don't want to keep on going back and forth. Well? Oh, that was the mannequin again. So, just to uh, give a preference to that mannequin stuff. So, those little incidents I've been uh, dealing with, that's actually uh, one of the mods that I included. Um, it's in relation to, uh, it adds a little, uh, spooky stuff to the game. Alright, so, I was... See, I need to set a waypoint, and I don't have a bed, that's my issue. That's my old, I think that's my, yeah, that's my current location. See, I was all the way over this mountain then. 
Because I don't recall. Yeah, here it is. Wait, did I literally die right near my base? No, that's not my base. Where was it? Here it is. I was literally like less than 30 feet away from my base. Oh, I saw my dog, right? Alright, now I can turn off my game mode. Game mode. Uh, survival. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's... At least I'm back here. Um, that's all I really, really care about right now. But yeah, like we were saying here... Um... Yeah. So like basically like I can't wait for the, the switch to that stuff. That's going to be a little bit uh, nicer to deal with. What is that? That was my dog. But yeah, I, I think to be able to deal with that vindicator, I need to make a bow, I feel. Don't have a bow. I and mean, I could make a gold sword that does more damage. In my iron sword. Six. I know it doesn't. What the hell? Oh yeah, join uh join in. Um when things are up and running more later on, there might be able to find Yeah, yeah. I'll probably put it on my Discord eventually. Um right now it's uh I do actually have it running right now. Um I just don't really have the the like the mod list up on, on the uh whatever right now but for the most part yeah i generally have it running in it to work uh, i'll probably once i get like a little base i'll probably set up like a teleport thing for people to join in from so i'm doing the thing that i shouldn't be doing i need to set a spawn point that's the thing i need to figure out to but yeah, once I get this all, uh, it's probably like I find a nice base of operations because right now this is more so this uh, thing. Uh, what I want, where I want to go. Oh, I can't see it right now. Let me go outside real quick um, and delete my death markers. But where I, I'm probably going to set it up. Down over here because I prefer plain areas. It'd be nice and open, so then we can be able to explore around, find a nice base of operations. Um, because right now the tundra, this is nice and all, but it's, it's just a lot to this area. Also, we already see there's a uh, an ocean monument. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's in the. the description of my uh the channel and all that and we don't really use it often like i post every once in a while and i do announcements for when i go live but i want to use it a little more it's just right now it's uh it's just sort of like for people joining that are like one of our friends or whatever um but yeah uh i mostly my main area of usage uh for like server wise is the vinemon discord that's the main area I like to use, uh, but for the most part, I just use the my server since it's not really too many people are interested in using it. Uh, just to share, you know, videos if I want to, or just when I go live. That's basically what I use it. I oh, think it stupid arrow again. Um, let me put away these things. Oh, they are taking up room, paper. Yeah, this whoopee cushion I try to equip, and it does not equip to anything. And yes, I do have a, a, a whole attachment thing, like accessories. You can find these when you're exploring and chests. But yeah, um, I should just make armor. Wait, is there copper armor? Yeah, it's basic Terraria. Yeah, that's that's the one little thing. And they do actually do, like, neat things to your uh, character. 
they give you benefits. Like there's one, um, you can get snorkels if you find, and it allows you to breathe underwater indefinitely. That is one thing I'm definitely getting so I can do ocean monuments. Because I'm not really too much of a potion person. Yeah, same. I mean, hell, I literally beta tested it. <laughs> And I actually have like a painting in the game that I made myself, so you can you can definitely say I love the game. <laughs> I could I guess I could make gold armor, and I have five ingots. But yeah, I'll definitely um I do want to uh, play Terraria on stream eventually. That's another thing I want to touch on and play. I haven't to play that in like a while though. I, wonder, I, I do wonder, is there... I mean, I, I didn't kill any of them yet, so... Some gold armor on. Not yet. I remember seeing a post on Twitter and loving the art, uh, but also being interested in a redo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, here we go. I think I should make... Yeah, this should be good. And the, the noise of the wolf walking is tripping me up because I'm... It sounds like a normal person walking. Alright, and put that in there. I don't have any leather, so I can't make that. Alright. This is better than nothing. So... I'm going to three full... Master mode. Oh. Yeah, that's normal. Um, the two friends are stopping at a Moon Lord every run. <laughs> yeah. A uh, Moon Lord. Uh, in that point of development, I was already out of this, uh, out of like the group. Um. All right, let's get to this. Actually, I could probably get this iron. But the last, I think the last like big thing I worked on while testing was the um I think it was the Halloween update no no it was after that it was so I remember that summer or that winter I they did a little like for beta testers like a hundred dollars and I'll gift you a game like with a hundred dollars I gift you games on Steam and and basically like that was a little before then, and yeah, I think it was like around like April, May is when I left the team, uh, the beta testing team. And then prior, then after that, since it was, I was still part of it during 1.3, I think it was the version, the, you know, the big update that everyone was like, oh my God, this is so cool. It's hype and all that. Um... Man, that's, it's hard to remember. So that's forever ago at this point. Um, I think since I was beta testing it back when I was in eleventh grade, twelfth grade maybe. It was after no, it was yeah, it was definitely twelfth grade. So it was eighteen at the time. That was the main thing that they wanted to make sure, and I was eighteen. Um, and then afterwards, it was probably I think like a few years later. But yeah, I definitely want to replay it though. It's been a while. I want to try to hunt for my painting, which it would basically I would have to go through multiple worlds if I want to do that because it is a such a rare painting to find in the dungeons. But I think it's worth it. Uh, pants, I need one, two, I need seven, three, four, five. So yeah, I don't have enough. Let me put on my boots. But yeah. I've... Yeah, I, for what I've played, I've never beaten the Moon Lord. That was after I got... You know, I left, and I wasn't ever really put time into play. So... So this is... Yeah, let me just melt some of this copper, because why not? Alright. 
And let me see if I can find sheep first before I go in. Is there any sheep on the map here? I don't think there is. Hey bro, if you ever want an extra, I got you. The game is one of my favorites. Yeah, I'd be down for that. Like, I, I know, um... My friend, uh, Just Shitch, who I do. How was that? Well, I mean, it's snowing now, but still. That was a weird noise. Oh, it's, oh, it's my torch. Okay. The change of meta is significantly pushing his... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know about that. Are, are these creepers just friendly now? I guess these are friendly creepers. Interesting. So uh, the like the creeper overhaul mod, I guess, added different kinds of uh, creepers. I did not know they changed their behavior. I thought they would, you know, some of them would be like evil and like maybe explode a little differently. Yeah, that's cool. Come on, bud, get in here. But yeah, uh, I. Oh, is that thunder? Yeah, it's thunder. Let me stay inside. Hey, I'm gonna try to take on that dude. I'm basically all armored up except for pants. But I should be fine. But yeah, I mean, I always was a, when I played Ferrari, I was always a more of a builder than anything else. I always loved, like, just building and making contraptions and all that nonsense. How did I get in there? I died over there, so that's that way. not expecting that many ow yeah like where, no, where was it there's one oh, my dog's back so we're good there um and there's not too many the one that followed me, and the one in there still. And also that mimic, wherever that went. That's either one of these two. But that might be the Vindicator. Alright, let me see if I could. Let me heal up first. Actually, let me eat an apple when I can. But yeah, yeah, this is, it's a little trickier. These, uh... I know these sort of like buildings are a little more uh, interesting and goofy. Not goofy, but you know, interesting and fun. Actually, this might be a creeper. So, one of the things is. What's that? Alright, I think that's a mannequin. Alright, um. But yeah, 
for these sort of like buildings, they're a little more trickier. There's a, there's a decent rewards in them, which is the main thing I want to do this. But also there is what is that? Is that a oh it's a uh, a trial thing. This is actually in Minecraft. This thing. This is a mod thing. There's a few trial stuff looks like lush cave. Yeah, the, the mini map you can see basically everything underground. Well, it's a, a, a little broken, I guess, but it, it's nice to view such. Because, I mean, if you're in the area, why not? Calm oh, down. Jeez. Yeah, there's Amethyst. Oh, is this still dude? That's the, uh, this is the other mod um, that I, I added the other time before as the um mob loaders the that lost is the one that searches around and like places things in the uh like mine shafts they spawn in there yeah it's 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 broken but it's also you know like fun broken right, so there's two of them there there's this guy this is the one that i was dealing with so it's good to know that they're over here. This is. Let's see. Oh my god. Now there's. Just need to kill them. Ow! I don't want to deal with you. I want to deal one-on-one. -on -one. Ah! <laughs> it, it's fine. I, I have the uh, raids turned off on this world. So at least I know generally where I need to go now. So it's... Since I checked, it was... Since I died here, it is somewhere... I don't think so. Yeah, I, I honestly. Alright, here. I, I, I hate having the duo in creative mode and do this because it does ruin a little bit of the uh, the funness of it, but it is a casual thing, so I'm not really too worried about it. Let me just grab a thing. I don't want to spawn anything, and that's, that's the worst thing in the world. But I do want to. What was that? Uh, that's music, okay. Let me grab a bed. And then I'll fly back. I mean, I didn't lose anything. That's. I just don't want to lose out on time. That's the main thing. Hey, there is a mannequin over here. What is this? Yeah, this, you see, this one is uh, part of that mod I mentioned earlier. It's like the spooky mod. It's similar to the, uh, that one thing in, um, Voices of the Void. Where it, it like, you have a mannequin follow you randomly. Alright, let's, uh, head over now. Game mode, creative. I don't want to keep on doing this. Just want to set a nice spawn point. And then set up whatever. Because I still want to take everything fair and square on like combat and all that and building and all that. It also is cool just to look around here. Over the world, the landscape. I want to see the Family Guy Terraria base me and my buddy made in Master Mode. I made a goofy shaped house and then like an ink blot. It, lo it looked like Peter and then became a huge bit. <laughs> Alright, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Feel free to post it. I mean, it might get blocked in the chat here, but you could probably post it in the Discord and I can look at it real quick. I know it's over here. Angel Man on the tree. 
Wait, how are you on the tree? It's raining. Oh, it's snowing where you're standing. Yeah, yeah, Discord should be fine then. Yeah, I'll... Hop in here. Game mode. Adventure. My dog didn't die, so that's good. I don't know where he is right now, but... Oh, wait. I want game mode. Survival. I wish they didn't name them like that. Similar. I preferred it when they were, like, 1, 2, and 3, because then you always knew, like, oh. All right, I have to wait. All right, my respawn's been set. Okay. Now I'm good. But yeah, I'll, I'll look at it in a bit. Let me just, uh... Oh, wait, that's right. I had him sit. So he's the one that fell. I don't know where the other guys are right now. Did they despawn or something? Because I did turn off raids. And I did turn off the... here. That's like a bottom area of this. Yeah, let me just check. Like I said, there was this here, and I had these books. Did this have normal books as well? I gotta get a screenshot. Ah, that's fine. Let me see what else is here. Got some ladders. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, there's another one here. All right, awesome. Ooh, the channeling, nice. That's for the trident. Ooh, this is really good loyalty. Well. So we got a trident one on this, efficiency, silk touch. This one is definitely going to be going on a pickaxe. That's really good. Uh, I don't need that. And I'll put this. Oh, I don't need this the stairs. More books. Good to have. I can make bookshelves. More paper. All right. I think we're good. Oh! No! I'm it! Alright, got the killed the chest. Oh my god. Where's the real one? Oh my god, the illusioner is very evil. I hate him. Also, sorry, Dougie, I didn't mean to hit you. Can I feed you carrots? No. I need to feed you meat. Uh, salmon. Can you eat this? No. Let me cook the salmon. I can make doors. I can I make armor? No. So let me look and see my crafting recipes I have here. Can I make a crossbow? I would need to make a trip hook. Brush. This is what I want to make. Copper and a feather. Okay. It's, since this is a, a very important thing for the uh, ar like archaeology stuff. Sackle books for decoration. Interesting. Um, corner trim. Interesting stuff here. All right. 
think I should be good for now. Also, bartering station, this is really cool. It helps you, if you have a whole bunch of villagers, you can just use this. And I believe what it does is it allows you to have all of them combined into that one nearby. No, that didn't work. Well, whatever. Um, let's head on down. Well, at least I killed that. At least I killed the book. Or, not the book, the chest. That was the main thing I wanted to, uh... To get rid of. Also, let me check down here. All right, they're, they are in the art channel if you're interested. Okay, let me look, pop over into it. Where is it? Uh, scroll up, there it is. Art, here we go. Oh my God, that is amazing. <laughs> here, let me um, show on stream here. Have to save it here real quick. Be real quick. Save. Oh man, this is, that's awesome. And save this one. All right, and then pop over to OBS here, and let me add the files. Add image. I'll name it Peter. Browse. Where did I save it again? Save it on my desktop, I think. Wait, no, I didn't. Saved it. No, I, I did. Desktop. Yeah, here they are. All right. So here, here's what uh, his uh, Terraria or their Terraria world looks like. Oh my god, that, that definitely is Peter. Now, I got a question for you. Did that, um... Did it start, like, in that shape and then eventually became that? Or were you, was it like, oh man, this a little bit looks like Peter Griffin. Why don't I uh, modify it even more to look like Peter Griffin? Like, when was, like, the... W when did it start happening when you were building this? Also, let me show you the other one. They, they sent a few images here. Here's the other one. <laughs> the head was just a random shape. We had a very poorly shaped house out of wood at the surface. Level. Okay, I see. So, you basically like someone like, oh my god, that was a, the head looks like Peter Griffin. <laughs> or the house looks like Peter Griffin. Oh, I see. Yeah, I can see how that, how that goes. And since you needed more storage, you built down. <laughs> the rope is a spy. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. And then here's the, uh, the feet. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> oh, that's so good. All right. <laughs> All right, let's get back into this here. All right, we're making progress through this, even though it's death after death. But hey, it is what it is. I need to one of these. All right. Uh, how do you deal with an illusioner? Oh my god, another mimic. Fall down, maybe? I don't know. Did he drop? Did he drop another whoopee cushion? He did. I can't wear these. Nope. So 
Hey, what's up here? Oh, here we go. Some more fish. That's good. Uh, I don't need the normal axe here. Yeah. And I get a brewing potion. I was very proud. I'm flattered. Thanks for checking out. No problem. It looks awesome. Like supposed to be like an entrance of sort. I don't know where that illusioner went though. So I don't think they can just despawn like that. Oh wait, no, he's over there. Let's avoid him for now. I'm scared one of these are going to be mimics. <laughs> so I'm checking to make sure there's no red on them. Ooh, that's a good. That's a good haul right there. That scared me. I thought that was a raider coming. Nope, more emeralds. PS5 is so used used in this house, I turned it on to get screenshots and OBS and now it's off again. <laughs> Man, that's a a, a well uh loved PS uh PS5, I guess. <laughs> What else do I need? Just put some stuff. I mean, I don't really need a mannequin. I used to use it before I got my Walmart PC. All right, right, makes sense. I mean, I could eat my cooked salmon. There we go. Now, what is in here? I think this is. Oh boy. Interesting. Ooh. A lot of good stuff here. Um can sir no. Of course there's no uh, crafting bench. I'm breaking and ice. Got some uh chain mail. Um, da, 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 da. Let's pick that up. Okay, let me, I got an idea. Let me put some of the wood in here. I don't need the chest. I don't, don't need that. Yeah, that works. Do I have anything I can, uh, yeah, I can eat some bread. So I'll do. All right. Let's hit this way. I don't think there's anything up ahead that to worry about. Ooh, no, 
Oh, these are some good items. Thorns. Curse of binding. More bread. Another pickaxe. Yeah, this is this is actually re uh, a really good haul. Also, I get some sick uh, posters or whatever they're called. Some more of that. Over here. Nothing. And it seems to be a dead end here. Yeah, so this is a sick spot, though. This I'm not too sure about. What's up here? Because whenever I see a whole bunch of cobwebs like this, I'm instantly like, oh, it's gonna be a spider uh, nest. That is a, no, oh, careful boy. That is a mimic. I couldn't open it. Oh wait, no, I could. Oh, I was shifting. I couldn't open it when I was shifting. I'm dumb. All right, um, Death Strider, not bad. I could probably put that. All right, I probably, I'm just gonna leave it here. I'm gonna come back down later. Got diamonds, nice. Yeah, this was a nice haul. Uh, let's put it in here. Let's grab it as another, oh, another layer. Hmm. I'm gonna mine down. I don't wanna risk it. Uh, see, yep, that's why I shouldn't have risked, uh, tried to risk it. It is literally an arrow trap. Yeah, see, that, that would have been a big pain. That's evil. Ooh. There's also a hidden thing. Respiration. Now what's on there? Alright, making good progress finding this stuff here. Here lava. Oh, it's my dog. Got scared for a second. I gotta play with uh my me at six AM sharp tomorrow. What? What do you mean by that? <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's over there. I think once I finish this stuff, I'm probably going to head off. Me cutter at the store. Uh, okay, I, that's what I figured, but I was like, what? Alright, there's lava there. Let me go down this way. Block this off. It doesn't look like it. I did find diamonds though. That's good. Yeah, this is a bad idea. I need to go around. But yeah, like once I'm done with this, exploring this, I head back up into my base itself. Then I'll it will call it an end, which I 
Yeah, this seems to be some sort of like villager base. Thank you, and have a good evening yourself. This is another dead end. Looks at it at least. Alright. And then let's head on through here. Alright, so there's two illusioners. I think that's what the, that icon means. Another diamond. don't know the the best way to take care of an illusioner, being honest. I never really have uh, taken them on before. Like, oh, nice. Like, I mean, I've, I think I've, like, I technically have taken them on, but not in, like, a vanilla context. that way no it is that way oh my god they're they're blocking me off well I guess I'm gonna have to deal with him oh wait this is an illusioner is this a uh... all right no it was an illusioner okay well I'm back here so yeah yeah, yeah I know I'll cook you something later all right well I think that'll be it for tonight um, I, that was a good, uh, haul, though. I'll have to go back down there to get more of the stuff that I left. But a lot of enchantments. There's a lot of items down there that I need to get. But, yeah, that was a good haul. Diamonds, got emeralds, got gold. Plenty of food. But, yeah, I think that was a good stream. But yeah, as I said, um, probably the next time we're gonna let me head outside to show you. Make sure that it's all good. Next time I want to head down over here. That'll be my next goal. Um, and by then I'll we'll probably uh do a sort of uh setup for people publicly to come on, and then I'll probably set like a a spawn point or something for people to join in and play. Because it just makes sense to have like a sort of like um oh, what those are. Huh. Sorry. But yeah, this sort of makes sense to have like a nice open area for people to build in. And then the people go, oh man, I wanna be over here or I wanna be over here or you know, all that nonsense. Um but yeah, there's plenty of cool stuff on this map though. I mean, and I know people will want to do this. Uh, there's probably some another like ocean over here, and this looks like to be another portal thing. But yeah, 
But yeah, thank you everyone for stopping by who have. Uh, thank you for watching the VOD if you have or lurked around. Appreciate it all the time. Also, if you probably have noticed, um, with snow, I have it set up to build up eight blocks. So it does, uh, not eight blocks, but eight tiers, so it fills up a whole block. So snow will build up. So just keep that in mind while you're traversing. But yeah, as I said, come on in. Fun. There you go. Yeah, that out of the way. Let me just save and quit. And I'd like to thank you all for stopping by, having a good time. I had a good time. It was a nice one. Adventure into the world of Minecraft. So with that, I wish you all a good night. And goodbye.